So hello everyone welcome uh, first of all congratulations as TCS Ninja has been announced now i understand that a lot of you would have a lot of doubts in terms of there's a paid nqt there's a free nqt you know what's the difference between the two if you've given already the nqt exam earlier should you be giving it again uh, etc etc so we'll cover all of those things in detail in this video we'll also be covering the syllabus the number of questions the sections the topics that you should be doing for TCS right uh, now moving ahead there are a few things that I want to talk to you about first before starting with the recruitment process or the syllabus of the TCS Ninja exam, right? Uh, so first of all, uh, there are two companies that are hiring as of now. There's Amazon that is hiring, there's Cisco as of now that's hiring. The link to uh, that is provided in the uh, on our Instagram page and you can find the Instagram page link from the description of this video. Uh, make sure that you apply for all of those. Also, JP Morgan and PayPal are also going to hire next week. So we'll also be putting all of those links on our Instagram and our Discord. Make sure that you join our Discord, Instagram and WhatsApp. All of those links you'll be able to find from the description of the video. Next thing is, and I just want to take a little time to uh, talk about our new thing that we've just launched. So with the hard work of around 50 people working in Prepinsta and uh, about seven months, we've just launched this new amazing website that is called as PrepinstaPrime.com. So what is that? It's basically Netflix but for placement preparation. So we realized that uh, whenever you're preparing for placements or upskilling or certification, you need a lot of courses like C, C++, Java, Python, Comparative Coding, DSA, uh, uh, Operating System, Machine Learning, uh, DBMS, SQL, uh, company-based courses for TCS, Infosys, Wipro, Cognizant, Cape Gemini, Accenture, so on and so forth, even product-based companies, Amazon, uh, Flipkart, DShaw, PayPal. So you need different courses, but people generally have money for just one particular course and they don't go ahead for the second courses. We wanted to solve that particular problem and thus we've launched Prepinsta Prime. That is, you go ahead with the subscription and you never feel, and you always feel that, you know, whatever I would need for my placement preparation journey, I would have it. So we are going to play a small trailer for you. May I hope that you really love the hard work that my team here has done for you. And post the uh, trailer, we'll talk about, you know, the TCS as well. Now, a lot of you would have doubts about, you know, there's a paid version and then there's a free version of Ninja. What, uh, and if you've already given in the bag uh, in the past, what should you be doing it? So now, very quickly, I'll just explain you the context. I guess a couple of years ago, I went on a meeting with TCS to Chennai. They wanted to partner with us for a, something called as Common Corporate Qualifier Test, that is CCQT. Now, we go went ahead and partnered with them for it. People could purchase CCQT from Prep Insta also and from TCS website, both of them. So we were a licensed partner for, with them. Now, basically the objective was to launch since approximately three to four lakh people gave the TCS test every year. So they wanted that, okay, not just TCS, but all the other companies that are hiring in India can use that score, can reduce their cost of hiring based upon these NQT scores only. 
right? So that's exactly what they did. It's very similar to AMCAT and CoCubes. That is, you give the exam and you're not just able to apply to TCS, but other 100 plus corporates like R RBL Bank, Kotak Mahindra Bank, JWS Steel, uh, JW Steel, uh, JSW Steel, Bridgestone, Tata Steel, so on and so forth. And a lot of companies that you'll see on the right-hand side of mine. Now, if you don't pay for the test, so in that case, if you give the exam by applying onto the next step portal, right, you'll just be applying for TCS. However, if you pay for the test, you're also applying for to TCS and you are also applying to all of these hundred plus corporates in future whenever they are hiring, right? So that's the only difference in both of the cases. All students need to go to nextstep.tcs.com and register for the TCS so that TCS will be able to consider your scores that are given in the exam, right? But again, if you don't pay for it, then only you're applying for TCS and not all the other 100 plus corporates. So that's what TCS has done. Uh, this is what you should be knowing. Next, what we'll be doing is we'll discuss the recruitment pattern and the process. Now, to talk about the syllabus of TCS, right? So there are a lot of sections. The first section is called as verbal ability, which will have 24 questions and 30 minutes. The next section is called as reasoning ability, which would have 30 questions and 50 minutes. The next section would be numerical ability, which would have 26 questions, 40 minutes. And then there's a programming logic section, which has 10 questions and 15 minutes. And then there's a coding section, which would have two questions and 45 minutes. Now, I know that a lot of you would know things that, you know, uh, TCS did not announce the number of questions and only the timing in these sections. How does Prepinsta know it? So again, we are partnered with the ION division, which conducts all of those exams. So it's like a little insider information that we are getting. Uh, right. So that's pretty much about it. Now to talk about uh, a few more things. First of all, there is no negative marking in the test. The test is non-adaptive. Uh, also, there are two types of questions. So sometimes you'll be having questions which are MCQ format. That is, there will be four options and one correct answer. However, in some cases, there would be FUB type of questions. That is, fill up the blanks questions, wherein there would be a question, but no options. There would be a box. You need to enter some value in the box. It could be, let's say, five or six point seven eight, depending upon the you know how they are saying. Uh, enter till correct two decimal points so on and so forth in the question sometimes in the english question you will be entering some uh, word so on and so forth right uh, these fub questions contain higher markings so make sure that you go ahead and uh, 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 focus a little more upon them now uh, to talk about the individual you know uh, topics of all of these section so first of all you are having verbal ability so important uh, topics in this would be reading comprehension synonyms antonyms sentence correction sentence completions and others that you can see on the screen right so you, so you can take a screenshot if you want to understand all of this but again it's available on pretenstar's own website as well then you have reasoning ability in the reasoning ability you have blood relations coding decoding uh, number series pattern visual uh, and uh, so spatial reasoning visual reasoning so on and so forth these would be the most important topics and others that you can see on the screen, right? Now, in the numerical ability section, the most important topics would be permutation, combination, uh, probability. There's very important topics that is not asked in any other co you know, company's placement exam, but in TCS that is called as elementary statistics. So mean, median, mode, data interpretation, so on and so forth, right? Others you can see on the screen. Now, coming to the programming logic section, you will have 10 questions. The time given to you would be 15 minutes. Now for the programming logic section, the uh, topics that you need to focus more upon would be C, C++, Java. You need to know all of these three languages because thesis would be giving you input outward questions or pseudocode questions and all of them. And sometimes, you know, theoretical questions with options as well. Uh, then you would need to know data structures. You need to know uh, SDLC, that is Software Development Lifecycle. And there would be one or maybe two questions related to DBMS as well, right? So again, as I've always been saying, uh, no IT company cares that you're a non-CSIT student. You should know all of these topics really well in the written round as well and more so in the interview. And I'll talk about the interview a little later. Right now, again, in the coding section, there are two coding questions. One would be medium difficulty. One would be, you know, a little higher difficulty. Uh, the time given for this would be 45 minutes. Now, there would be hidden test cases. So 50% uh, so hidden test cases, 50% uh, public test cases. Uh, sometimes they go ahead with a combination of three public and three hidden. Sometimes they go ahead with a combination of six public and six hidden. So based upon the number of test cases that you are passing, your marks are decided upon the test cases that you are passing. Now, one more thing is this is something that I request every year to people. We do not get money from TCS for saying this. So 
प्लीज डोंट थिंक दैट ओके वाई प्रेपिन सेइंग दिस आई माय सेल्फ आई एम अ पाइथन प्रोग्रामर आई यूज दैट फॉर मशीन लर्निंग बिग डेटा एंड सो ऑन सो फॉर्थ प्लीज डू नॉट कोड इन पाइथन प्लीज डू नॉट कोड इन पाइथन एवरी वीडियो आई आई विल कम आई विल से द सेम थिंग अगेन TCSS Python compiler sucks your program will run everywhere but not in TCS so make sure that is that the second thing is TCS compiler is slow because there are lakhs of people giving the exam simultaneously so whenever you compile it will take you about you know one and a half minute to compile it so you'll be wasting a lot of time in compilation so you know com- uh, you know only compile when you are 100% sure that okay uh, you know uh, the program is perfect a lot of people are like okay they compile it every 2 3 minutes don't do it because you will not be able to write the code when the program is already in compilation so that's pretty much about it now a lot of you may want to understand how do you prepare so first of all all the previous year papers are available on prepenster.com for tcs so you can go ahead to prepenster.com and solve all of those questions i guess 20% of those quizzes are available for everybody free of course with a lot of analytics and ai and machine learning we are using to predict your rank even before giving the exam 80% of those are you know unlocked once you go ahead with the prepenster prime now again if you want to prepare for tcs we just again as i said we've just recently launched prepenster prime which is basically a netflix side of a way because students you know first you will have tcs then you will have cognizant then you will have wipro then infosys then dxc then flipkart amazon a lot of companies will be visiting so you won't be you know buying courses again and again right so you need one subscription with access to everything all the company based courses all the platform based courses for cocube g litmus amcat metal hacker rank hacker earth so on so forth apart from that you know language based courses c c++ java python dsa competitive coding uh skill based courses artificial intelligence machine learning operating system dbms sdlc so everything that you need to know for placement preparation you'll be getting the access to all the courses so you will never feel that okay i purchased this course now i don't have money for the next course right because you're getting access to everything that is the problem that we want to solve with our newly launched prime uh the link to join that would be in the description below we'll also give you the link of the course of tcs we're also having daily live classes so apart from the self paced courses there are daily live classes that you'll also be getting access to so there are two ways on how you can learn on your own with the self paced courses but again with the daily live classes as well prepenstar.com quizzes also are are, are you know included once you go ahead with prepenstar prime prepenstar.com website also you get complete 100% access to also one more thing that we've done is we've partnered with TCS now because in interviews also for the TCS interview you need to know digital skills like artificial intelligence machine learning big data blockchain crypto ethical hacking cyber security uh, so on so forth digital skills and they'll be asking you to share your screen and show you the working project a lot of people think that okay i made a project in second year i'll write two lines about it no you write two lines but they'll ask you to show your screen and then they'll ask you to run that particular project also and then show the demo and show the code as well uh you know it's gone are the days when you know just writing two lines about the project was fine right and explaining that was fine no they are going to show the demo of it so make sure that you know you do not give reasons like okay sir it was a group project i don't have the code or uh, i had the code but i don't have it anymore so do solve all of those things because we know that students are not in their final year and they don't have their final final year projects already done but companies do ask for all of these projects so we have nano degree certifications uh, of prepenstar for courses like artificial intelligence machine learning neural network deep learning uh, there are project cool projects like uh, uh, you know netflix movie recommendation mass recognition using a video handwriting prediction uh amazon user data segmentation big basket cart optimization so on so forth apart from that we've also partnered with tcs ion so whenever you purchase prepenstar prime you'll be getting access to the remote internship certification from tcs ion and in skills like blockchain ai ml so on so forth so there are some course modules that you need to complete and some assignments that will approximately take you 10 hours once you dedicate those 10 hours you'll also get a certification from TCS ion which would be really really helpful not just in your TCS interview but everywhere right because uh, companies don't value neptel coursera and udemy certification these days so you need to have something like this so which is why we thought let's partner with TCS what's more credible than their certification so link to all of this is in the description of the video just to show you the quality of the courses that we are going to have 
my team will play a short course demo so that you can understand the quality of the videos that Prepensa is providing. So thank you so much. I'll see you up ahead in the next video.